Today, I'm going to be talking about the new movie studio. Movie studios have been around for a long time. They build sets there. Crews come in. Actors work there. They they make, they make shoot things. They get shots. And then they go into the editing room and they put those shots together. But the movie studio is where it all goes down. And there's now a virtual movie studio that's being built. And it's utilizing game engines. And we're building one for our project, the Flinch franchise, the Flinch experience. And um, this is... Uh, this is me working in this digital space. You know, I've worked on set a bunch directing shots with live action actors and crews and DPs, but I've never really worked inside of a game engine directing shots digitally, virtually. Um, so this is my experiences here. Um, check it out. All right. So now we're inside the studio. This is the movie studio of the future. Believe me, filmmakers, Hollywood cinema lovers and creators the world over are going to be telling stories in engines and movie studios like this for a long time to come. So this is one of our sets. It's a prison set. As you know, Flinch is a crime franchise, so we need prison locations, and we built them here. The voice of the other gentleman is someone working on building this with me. He's kind of like our engineer. But, uh, yeah, here we have some buildings which you can enter or to play basketball. So the prison looks good. Yeah, Question like for that. you. When people walk around, how will they get in here? Do the doors open? How does that work? Yeah, regarding like, like walking currently, uh, it's not integrated, I guess. Like that also was not like in the in the quote. Like what we have is this uh, intro sequence, and after that you can like fly around with your camera basically to capture any movies and st stuff like that, you know. And um, there we maybe would need to add something that you can fly through walls or open doors or something like that because currently. Let's make the walk speed a bit faster. Yeah, like you you need to have like open open doors or something like that to get in a building currently. So when we put this up on the website and people can mm -hmm. go in, they won't be able to go into any of the locations. They can go to those locations, yeah. They can go but, in? Yeah, I mean we would need to open the doors like here, for example. Or since they have the, uh, the, this flying camera, they can fly over those fences here. But uh, we would need to open doors here for the buildings. Okay, though this don't have interior, this have uh, interior. So here I would need to open the doors. Okay. Like that maybe. So, so you'll open all the doors so that people can move around for now until mm -hmm. we get walking in place. So they can yeah, fly once around. Right, once the walking and stuff like that is in place, we can also add mechanics or something like that to the doors that they will open. For now, I will open them by hand. Let me quickly do that. There are not so many doors. We're thinking about this, this space, this movie studio, in two ways, right? We're thinking about it from a cinematic perspective. And when you see it like this, it looks crude, right? The, the image is not perfect looking. And that's, that's because this is like a simpler way to look at it, but then you hit another button and it puts the light effects on and really looks detailed. But we're thinking about this as like, you have to open the doors so that characters, 3D characters can move through this world. Cause all of these doors and walls and everything in here has real physics to it. So there's an opportunity to come in and just walk around, use it as a game, and also as a movie studio where you're filming. So so that's why we have to open the doors, as an example. And we have that as our locations. Yeah, the disco is always open here. There are no doors. The doors we have here, yeah, like there's a map over. Those are fine. Yeah. I guess here in your um, 
in your city there are no buildings with uh, interior and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that also would be fine and yeah then we have the doors okay so the next thing let's work on is the flinch logo okay so I don't want it to be over there by the bridge. Can you show me a big view of the city? Like that? Yeah. And then where is our close, where's the location that we can, people, the street, where's that street that people can walk around in? Yeah. Okay. So zoom, so, so go higher. So go, go up. Um, I wonder, I try. I just need to find the best angle. So move slow with the camera, okay? Um, maybe something like this where the logo is there a little bit. Can you go to the left and then pan and then uh, pan to the right? Take the camera to the left a touch and then pan to the right. And then what happens if you were to zoom, if like you were to tilt it down now? What would you see if you tilted down? Okay. Mm. Go back to the main street. Okay. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Stay high, but like where we can see the main street. Yeah. And then tilt up. Maybe the logo needs to be like there or something. I guess it will not look so good. What? I, like how how do you imagine it then? Like here? It's somewhere? Like floating in the air there. It looks a bit strange, I guess. It'll look strange? Yeah. Or what do you think when it's like flying here? Flinch logo? So what I'm doing right now is we're building an intro sequence. So when people come into our movie studio, they get a little story, you know, like the camera flies around and and it presents it, the music plays, and then you can start moving around in the world. And and we'll constantly advance this. But at this moment, we're we're kind of I'm figuring out what that opening shot is going to be when you enter the space. And then tilt down, tilt the camera down. Okay, go back to the main street. Um, what I maybe could imagine is like having the logo there behind, or or like like this maybe, and then maybe like bigger behind. I'm not sure. I like this idea. Um, what if it's closer to us in the front of the city? Closer to us, much closer, right? Yeah, before all the buildings and even closer. Yeah, bring, uh, yeah, bring it closer. I mean, notice, so this is the Flinch logo, right? And look at how when it comes over the water, look at that reflection on the water. Look at how this engine immediately gets the light right on water. You know, not to mention the twinkling of the lights in the city and all of these other things. I mean, these engines truly are incredible. I mean, look at this. Look at that detail. And this still isn't even full detail. I mean, this is still just, you know, kind of for us to move around and operate within. Uh, the tech is just incredible. They are start rested currently. That's here. At the stop, then we have our. And then maybe when it when the camera starts, yeah, it's on the water and it's like moving, and then it comes up, sees the logo, and then goes past the logo into the city. You know, um, you'll see here. You, you kind of getting the right camera movement with the camera is certainly a learning curve, understanding how to work it, how to maneuver it. I mean, it's still tough even to work a regular camera. I, you know, we've done, I've done crane shots in the past and you're just trying to get that right motion. Um, but uh, it's just a little different in here. 
but it's also super exciting. So I would, I would start here. Start looking down at the water. Yeah. Get past the, yeah, 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 like that. And then you're going to, as it starts moving, it tilts up. I'm kind of going for that Miami Vice intro shot, if you know what I'm talking about. Start on the water, push in, slowly tilt up, see the city, see the logo before us as the music plays. We gotta be careful. We want the motion to be fluid. I think we want it to be straight. I don't think we want it to do a move like that. So when we do it straight, when we do it straight, it maybe goes like through through walls and through the logo and don't look good, I guess. Well, let's position. I think we can get straight all along the water past the logo and into the city. And then once we get in the city, then we can move around the streets. It also looks cool. Let me, okay, let's, 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 let's see it. And then making a curve here. I need to further optimize it. It's like slow and then faster and stuff like that. But imagine everything would, would be smoothly. Then I would really like it. That moves in weird. Yeah, I know. It's not optimized. It's just a draft. And then from here we go like this. And then the camera will spawn here. And you can play everything. doesn't have to go right through the sea. I think trying to get through that sea is making the movement weird. You just go. Oh, the other keyframe makes it weird, I guess. The C and the H. See, it's now much uh, smoother and better. So now this is going to play when people come into the space. Yeah. And then ideally, then we have a character there and it lands on a character. Who talks yeah, it, it lands on the character. But the character is like this camera, it's invisible. Well, I have to get you the character. Huh? I have to get you the character. The character is currently this camera actor where you can fly around to capture movies and stuff like that. So it's invisible, basically. No, but what I'm saying is I want the camera to land and a character walks to the camera, is like in front of the camera. Yeah, when you have the character, then you can act it. So for now, someone comes into this universe and the first thing that happens is what? This? One second, I will, I will show you. Um... That will be the main menu. Then you have like start game. I want to change that text. Yeah, sure. And then our sequence will play. And some music will play. I guess you don't can't hear it over uh, Zoom. You have music playing right now. Yeah. From the Flinch soundtrack. Uh, it's like a track we had here and I'm not sure if it's the flinch. And now here we are like at the location where the camera ended basically. And then what happens now the viewer can just move the camera around themselves. Yeah. 
as you can see, I am currently like navigating the camera here. I fly around, you can walk around, you can change the focus distance, for example, make everything. You see that? Mm -hmm. And now I increase the focus distance. I can say I want to move faster. I can move higher or down again and all that stuff. You can disable the key by or show key bindings. You can hide the overlay to yeah, actually make the the cinematics and stuff like that then. So pretty much you can, as of now, people would just be able to operate this camera and move it around and film things. Exactly, yeah. Will they be able to record what they film? They can record using OBS. It's like a extra software. And they can record their screen. Their, their, uh, and then they can record their screen while playing and uh, have a video. We don't have a way within the program or whatever where they can like record and make something and then they can export a little video of the shots that they made? Mm, currently not, no. Is that possible? We can... We can I would need to to double check that. I guess there's something to like capture the videos, but uh, if you also want to like cut the videos or something like that, then that will get of course a bit harder and stuff like that. Yeah, I just wonder if there's a way that it's like they can, you know, find their move, set their move, and then hit a record button, and it does it, and it records, and then that little clip goes somewhere, and then they can do their next clip, you know, kind of like on. TikTok, right? Then you do the ne your next clip, whatever that is, the camera comes up, different location, then they do it, they record it, boom, then it's boom, now you have two clips. And now they're making a little movie and they can do, you know, up to 30 seconds or whatever, and then hit a button, save, and it saves to their computer. Something like that possible? Yeah, as I mentioned, like they would need to um currently they need to record like with, with OBS and then they can cut the video like in any like cutting software and stuff like that. We can what you can do later is I guess like uh, that you don't need the software OBS to um capture the videos, but you still need to like cut it somehow. I saw there's uh, something like a storyboard or something like that um, thing where you can move clips or, and stuff like that. But I am, I'm not 100% sure if that works. I would need to make some research there. Okay. Let's look into that because that would be really cool. Yeah, um, sure. We can do that after the this order here basically is done and then we can double check the other stuff. Okay. So we've got our, can we see the opening move one more time? That should say like, you know, something, not not start game because it's not really a game right now. Go back to the beginning of the move, please. Can you go back to the beginning of the move? Let's see. You mean this one? Yeah, I just want to see how it starts. Start again? Yeah, please. At the very beginning of that move, can we change it to where it kind of moves on the, like it's on the water a little bit longer before coming up? Looking at the water just a little bit longer before coming up. Maybe it's going slower too. Yeah, one second. I'm gonna give you a song. Like that? I wasn't watching. The move is janky, though. It's not... It's like... It just needs to be fluid and up at it.
See what see that it just needs to start there and just move at it. It shouldn't it's doing this. It doesn't need to do that. It just needs to go straight at it, up and through. I would do the camera move first, straight into the city, and then place the logo in the right spot for the move. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, what's like just that's much better, I guess. Uh show show it to me again. Okay, the camera should um tilt up faster. Faster. Like just the, up yeah, faster. Once it tilts, it should just Yeah, the thing is then I would need to add like a keyframe or something like that here again and then maybe it gets a bit janky. When I add something again here, then it will get janky. I guess. Oh, no, it's okay. Show me again, please. Is it stuttering or something? Mm, maybe it's because of like the preview. Like in the game, it's it will run better. Or when we export it, yeah, it's like lagging a bit, I guess. But in the game, you will not have it. It's like because it's like currently real time and yeah. Play again, please. Guess it's okay. Um, can you move the camera? Can we just fly the camera around? I want to try something else, please. What do you mean? Can we just yeah. like move the camera? I want to try a different move. Keep this. Uh, let's try something else. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Made so, a copy. Cool. Tilt up, please. Okay. So now bring the camera to the right. Take the camera to the right. More, 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 more. Quite a bit. Take it to the right quite a bit. Significantly to the right. Like this or even more? Um, Even more. Even more, even more, even more. Get, get away from that building. Okay, now pan to your left. Okay. Now go to your right more. Pan to your right a touch. Okay, a little bit less. Okay. And then push in just a touch. Okay, right there. Now look down at the water. Now what if we just went like this, straight along the water, look up, and then into the city the way that you do? That's like, like this? Yeah. So from in the city is fine. It's just starting off. Mm -hmm. 
هو I need it to be very clean move. I don't want the camera wiggling. I want it straight. See, that looks cool. That looks cool. It's taking too long to come up. Yeah. Okay, I think that's the right move. So now let's place the logo for the move. I guess I would rotate it like that, maybe. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. Yeah. Let's place it right in frame. Like this? That could work. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. It's pretty good. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We would need to remove this flinch then here in the, yeah. in the back. Okay, I will do that in a second. What's the best song to play? For the beginning. You want this uh, new sequence here basically for the start? Yeah, okay, so we'll use this song. Can you send me the YouTube link or something like that? Or yeah, I'm gonna send you the audio file in Discord right now. Oh, that's a WAV file, that's good. I'm gonna have to jump out of the Zoom and come back in in a minute. I hope this kind of gives you also just an understanding of what goes into getting a shot, you know, how much time is spent to get this one shot that we're working on right now. Um, you know, it's not a snap of the finger. Of course, it's probably quicker than it would be on a movie set to get a shot like this, a city shot, you know, which is incredible, but it still requires time and thought and work to get something Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Cool. What's the sound? And then imagine as this continues building, right? We're putting cars on the street characters. A car turns the corner. You know, someone's shooting at him from a different car. 
come into the city, people are crossing the street, and then all of a sudden the character kind of walks right up in front of the camera, starts talking. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little experience in here, shooting a shot. Um, you're going to be able to see the final product very soon. And uh, have a nice day.